I'm Alex Gangitano, Roll Call's Heard on the Hill reporter, and I'm here at the Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C., where members of the Bipartisan Task Force for Combating Antisemitism took a tour on Monday evening. The members walked around the main exhibit of the museum and participated in a discussion with the director of the Initiative on Holocaust Denial and Antisemitism. It's a very powerful place to stop when you're in Washington um, because of what it, what it says about uh, the need to speak out, the need to uh, to stand up. There's a certain coarseness uh, in the air right now, so it's important that a group uh, mm -hmm. of leaders in the Congress speak up and stand up for folks and try to bring people together and educate them. I think that uh, one of the reasons why you see hate snowball and get bigger the way that it does is because oftentimes people feel uncomfortable discussing it and talking about it, and I think that this museum gives people the opportunity to discuss the Holocaust and teach the Holocaust with their kids. We talked about some of the outreach that the museum has been doing um, in uh, especially trying to reach young people in Europe uh, and in the Middle East with accurate and relevant information about the Holocaust uh, in places where often there's a lot of misinformation. This is, a, this is an example of the kinds of things that can happen if, uh, if we're not wary, if we're not pushing back and if we're not speaking out uh, that's what the Holocaust Museum represents and I think people will be inspired uh, to, to go out and to play a more active role in fighting hatred and bigotry of all kinds. I'm Alex Gangitano and that's what I heard on the Hill.